What has become a Valentine's Day tradition continued today at Trinity United Methodist Church in downtown Youngstown. On this day, the church opens its doors for people to get married. And as reporter Brian Ivey tells us, they come from all over to get it done. Love is in the air today. The Chapel of Friendly Bells hosted schedule and walk-in weddings for a great cause. It's 50 bucks per couple and that money goes towards Good Shepherd Kitchen, which is a soup kitchen open twice a month at Trinity Church. There is no profit for the church staff today. Today is Valentine's Day and so we're celebrating the love that God has given us to share. Not everybody is always able to afford the wedding of their dreams or a wedding in such a beautiful church like this. And so today we're able to provide that for everybody. A total of seven weddings took place by 2 p.m. with more scheduled this evening. A few couples decided to walk in and tie the knot this morning. Church pastor Kelsey Orison says the spontaneous weddings come with a commitment to God and the new spouse. We ask that every couple that comes forward does so because they have thought through it and this is their intention to keep a lifelong vow. And so I think that there are those people who just chose this day as their special day on Valentine's Day. I don't know that there's a disadvantage to that. Leslie and Milton Gage came all the way from Columbus to take advantage of the ceremony for a good cause. They celebrated their fifth year of marriage by renewing their vows today in the chapel. Five in God's numerical system means faith, truth, trust in Jesus. And we just wanted to confirm that. The ceremony is non-denominational. This goes to show you love is universal. The wedding party could come and enjoy refreshments in the reception room and even got a gift. It was awesome. I, it was awesome. Um, the pastor who married us, I, I love the vows. In Youngstown, Brian Ivey, WKBN 27 First News.